guys, welcome to my channel, Empath Oasis. I hope you all are doing well. For today's video, we're going to be doing it on the topic of who is currently thinking about you right now or who cannot stop thinking about you. So for this video, I have six options for you guys. Real quick, before I list off these options, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel. If you've been booking personal readings, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that, I really appreciate you. If you would like more information on me as a reader or more information on ways that you can help support this channel, check out the information in the caption of this video. All right, for group one, we have strength. Group two, chariot. Group three, the fool. Group four, the hierophant. Group five, queen of inspiration. And group six, the high priestess. So just take a deep breath and pick whichever image you feel most drawn to. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Timestamps will be available in the caption. Okay, hey, group one, if you chose the strength card, this is your reading for who is currently thinking about you right now or who cannot stop thinking about you. And we'll also look at why. So for this group, I pulled King of Cups reversed, Five of Pentacles reversed, King of Wands reversed, Five of Cups reversed, and the Lovers. So who I am seeing with this group, who is currently thinking about you or can't stop thinking about you is I'm either seeing your ex or your father or a father figure or your stepfather or someone that was in that masculine parental figure in your life. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a male. But I feel like what's happening with this person is that they're holding on to a lot of pain or regret or shame over their behavior with you. I really feel like with this group, they've been realizing how much they've been taking you for granted or they did take you for granted. Um, or they're just not appreciating you or some, you know, if this was an ex, they're kind of coming to that realization of how much they actually loved you. I feel like these people are feeling really embarrassed about their behavior. And there's also some sadness and anger here, uh, but I feel like the anger is more so towards themselves for acting the way they did or for treating you so poorly, uh, or not acknowledging your needs or just kind of being cold and, um unsupportive uh when it came to your needs i feel like these people they're really missing you guys right now and i feel like they have a pretty hard time expressing themselves like these people are very controlled emotionally or they can come off very cold and detached um or they just suppress a lot emotionally i do feel like the one emotion that these people uh, easily express though is anger like they don't have a problem with doing that sometimes it can get out of control and it leaves them in this space of feeling remorse or guilt maybe they got kind of loud or they got really aggressive with you or they felt like they were very disrespectful to you um when they were angry at you so that, so now they're so now they're um, dealing with a lot of shame or regret or guilt uh or remorse but yeah, I feel like these people, they have a hard time expressing themselves. Uh, some of these people may not even have an opportunity anymore to express to you how they're feeling because you could have cut them out uh, or they're in, you know, they're out in the cold right now. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing no contact at the moment for the majority of you. Yeah, but they are thinking about you a lot. They're thinking about... You know how upset they are with the current state of this connection um a lot of these people are wishing that they can heal it they don't really know how to um but there is still you know with this lovers especially present there's still a lot of love here for you uh regardless of you know how angry or volatile things got between the two of you uh, before there was space created here in this connection. So I'm going to pull a couple signs real quick for you guys. And see the dominant energy here. And then we'll move on to the next group. All right, for group one, the dominant energy. Sun, moon, and rising. So possible signs for this group, sun, moon, and rising. The dominant energy is Venus. And that's Libra or Taurus. 
Mars, so that's Scorpio, Aries, or Leo. Uh, Saturn, which is Aquarius or Capricorn, Pisces, and Virgo. Okay, guys, in group one, let me know if this resonates with you. Uh, and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group two, okay? Bye. Hey, group two. If you chose, if you chose the chariot, this is your reading for who is currently thinking about you or can't stop thinking about you and we're also going to look at why all right so for this group i pulled okay group two so what i'm seeing for this group is this could either be an ex-friend that you no longer talk to it could be someone that you knew from childhood that you don't talk to i'm also seeing a female member of your family so like your mother or older sister younger sister uh, an aunt uh, I'm also hearing cousin. This is the dominant energy, but it does not have to be the only scenarios coming through. Uh, Six of Cups often represents a connection of ours that's a soulmate connection. So this can be pretty much anything like a friend or a lover or a family member. But what I am seeing here with this group is that you guys have had a falling out with this person or there's some space between the two of you. I'm getting heavy energy like around your mother. <laughs> Um, but I feel like you guys may have had an argument or you're at odds right now. Um, whoever this is though, I feel like this person is definitely like keeping tabs on you or watching you from afar. For some of you, if this is your mother, and this isn't going to apply to all your mothers, but for some of you, your mother is seeing how much you've grown, how much you've healed. Uh, and there's a lot of appreciation and admiration towards you right now and also a lot of sadness because they're not able to be around you to support you or to let you know this i feel like um for some of you your mother feels very proud of you uh, but you guys are on good terms so there's not a way for her to express this to you some of you your mother is very competitive with you okay and she is keeping tabs on you and watching you from afar and seeing your like glow up, your healing, you just being in your power. And this is upsetting them because I feel like at one point uh, your mother exerted a lot of control over you. And uh, now that she no longer has this power and control over you and you're kind of doing your own thing, it's uh, upsetting her on some level. Um some of you, this is the same scenario, only it's like a friend or someone you had a falling out with, like like someone in your family as well. Uh, they see you at a distance, glowing, thriving in your power. And, you know, they were competitive with you. That was a huge part of the reason why things fell out. And this is kind of driving them crazy to see that you're not uh, suffering, that you're okay, that you're, a lot of you are following your passions and you're really focused on that right now and that's bothering them, okay? Um, I'm also seeing that this is someone in your life that is really concerned with the person that you're currently dating or you're in a relationship with. I feel like this person, and it could be your mother as well, um, I feel like this person is really like, freaking out or worrying about like they feel like this person's like a sociopath or a psychopath or um they're taking advantage of you you know they're manipulating you possibly you know with sex or like manipulating you somehow and it's causing you not to see things clearly or to see this person for who they really are and and they're just really worried about you some of you, you know, I feel like you may have a very domineering or controlling mother. And, you know, now that you're in this new connection and you're with this person, she may not have as much power or control over you as she has in the past. This is upsetting her, the fact that she's losing power and control over your choices uh, and your decisions. I feel like it's giving her a lot of anxiety knowing that this person that you're currently with is influencing you more uh, than they are or they have more power over you is how they're feeling even if that's not the case but they are looking at it like uh, this person um, is taking their power and influence away now that they're in your life and I feel like they're thinking about this a lot they're obsessing over it 
And then I'm also seeing here that this is someone who wants to come back in your life. Um, they want to heal this connection. They want to mend this relationship, but they feel like I feel like they think that you're too stubborn or you're holding on to your position or there's issues here with pride or ego for you either to uh, work on this and heal this connection or this person may feel like you guys owe them an apology and they feel like you won't, you're, that you have too much pride to apologize for how you have contributed to this relationship, uh, the, this relationship's current state. Uh, that's how they feel, whether or not that's true. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that's how they're feeling right now. That's why they're thinking about you. That's why you're on their mind. Um, I want to look now at the signs of this person, the dominant energy for their sun, moon, or their rising. And then we're going to move on to group three. Okay. So let's see what's coming through for this group. For this group, I pulled the 10th house, which is Capricorn, the first house, which is Aries, the fifth house, which is Leo, Cancer, and Saturn, which is Capricorn again, and Aquarius, okay? So let me know if this resonates with you guys. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if it did, and if you would like to see more videos like this in the near future, don't forget to hit that bell as well so you can get those alerts. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group three, okay? Bye. Hey, group three, if you chose this image, this is your reading for who is currently thinking about you or can't stop thinking about you. And we're going to look at why. So for you guys, I pulled Wheel of Fortune reversed, Page of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Wands reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, and Eight of Swords reversed. Okay, so for this group, there's nothing real specific coming through about what type of connection this was. So uh, I'm sure this applies to a lot of different scenarios. Uh, so only take what resonates. Um, but I feel like what stands out about this group, what's the defining characteristic of this relationship and this connection to you is that things in this relationship at some point suddenly changed. Uh, you may have gone from being hella cool to suddenly being enemies. You could have been uh, dating uh, to suddenly this person ghosted you or you ghosted them. Um, there just could have been a drastic shift in the attention or effort or priority when it comes to this connection. Some of you, I feel like this was someone who might have pushed you away, okay? It was someone that you were dating. Things kind of just came to a halt when it came to this connection's like romantic aspects. And I feel like what's happening now with those who identify with that scenario is this person's kind of like really upset with themselves for doing this, for creating this dynamic now in this relationship. I feel like they feel as though they put themselves in a very difficult and sticky situation that they don't even know how to get out. I feel like they uh, are recognizing how they sabotage this and they're angry with themselves because they actually did like you. They actually saw a lot of potential here, but uh, this person has some healing they need to do clearly because um, I feel like their insecurities and their shadows just cause them to uh, sabotage this to mess things up and uh, how things were going in this connection. Some of these people, I feel like you guys got into a fight and they know they're wrong. They know what they did was out of pocket, but I feel like this person has a lot of issues around admitting when they're wrong. Like they do not know how to apologize. Um, so I feel like, you know, they're like in a battle with themselves. They're like, wanting to give up and surrender and admit fault but it's like their pride is preventing them from doing that um and i feel like it's created this weird like mental war going on with them now where they're like obsessing over you and they're kind of acting out kind of strangely or you know um their behavior just may be weird or off or they could you know they're self-esteem or their I, I don't know I just feel like this person is really acting out of character 
all because they're avoiding like just saying, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's like creating so much additional chaos in their life where they're really imbalanced and also just obsessing over you and constantly thinking about you guys. Um, others here, I feel like they are thinking about you constantly and obsessing over you because, you know, um, I feel like something happened between you guys in the past where they really violated your trust or they attacked you or threw you under the bus or did something very underhanded or they turned against you. But whatever happened, I feel like they are struggling with those consequences for this behavior. And, you know, they're in this space of realizing like them hurting you only hurt themselves. And now they're constantly thinking about you and thinking about, you know, what they did, their actions in this connection. Some of you, this was someone who used to be in your life that was very controlling. And, you know, I feel like a lot of you kind of got to a point where you broke free of this person's control. You broke free of their domineering energy. And I feel like this person is pissed off about that now. They're angry that they don't have that power or control over you anymore. And I feel like they are now in this kind of obsessive energy trying to figure out a way to regain power over you or control over you. Some of you here also, this is some random person from the internet. They kind of have fixated on you. They are obsessive over you. Uh, I don't feel like this is someone dangerous. I feel like they're too shy or insecure to ever make themselves known, but you do have like someone obsessed with you. They do stalk you online. Uh, it's like a distant admirer though. I don't feel like this person will cause you any harm. And the last energy I'm seeing here is someone that you had a falling out with because this person became very competitive with you. They became very jealous of you. And I feel like um, this person constantly thinking about you, they're obsessing over you, they're stalking you online. I feel like they're trying to scope you out and see what you're doing, see what you're about to do next so they can try and steal your spotlight, steal your shine. Um, this person is obsessively thinking about you or trying to plot or calculate ways that they can block your success or they can sabotage your success or even trying to figure out ways to make you fail, okay? Um, I'm going to pull some cards now so we can see what energy is coming through for this person, this group, Sun, Moon, or Rising, okay? Let's see. Oops. So for this group, I pulled the sun, which is Leo. The fourth house, which is Cancer. Jupiter, which is Sagittarius. And I think also Pisces. Venus, which is Taurus or Libra. And Saturn, which is Capricorn or Aquarius. Okay, guys. I hope that this reading was accurate. Let me know. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And hit that bell if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group four. Okay, bye. Hey, group four, if you chose this image, this is your reading for who is currently thinking about you or can't stop thinking about you. So let's jump into this. For you guys, I pulled, okay, group four. So this is someone that you used to be either close to or just close to due to proximity like you could have worked with each other or this was a neighbor but i feel like you know this relationship is no longer in good energy you guys are not on good terms with this person um i feel like something happened here in this connection where for the majority of you, I feel like it's you who felt like this person was not being supportive of you or they're uh, showing reciprocity. Um, and this was part of the reason why you brought this connection to an end. Um, or this person could have felt this way about you. They could have felt like you weren't being supportive of them. Um, that you might have been neglectful of showing them appreciation uh, for for how they've been there for you. But in situations where, you know, you guys felt like this person wasn't being supportive, that's why you cut them off. 
or you like maybe even faded away you didn't really say anything you just kind of created space and distance here uh, i feel like this person is currently like obsessing over the fact that you know they didn't really treat this relationship or you with like the effort they're realizing that you deserved I feel like you guys, when you cut this person out of your life, it created space. It created space for uh, connections that were more aligned with you to enter. And I feel like for some of you, this person is seeing that they saw that. Um, I feel like them seeing people being supportive of you or um, having much healthier dynamics with you is making them realize all the ways that they weren't being a good friend or a good partner to you. I feel like them seeing other people, you know, treating you well is kind of making them realize how neglectful they were to your emotional needs or um, how self-centered they were in this connection. And it's really upsetting them. It's making them, it's making them feel really bad. A lot of these people might actually be losing some sleep over this, you know, some sleep over the realization that it's their fault that you know you are no longer close to them the way that you used to be i feel like you guys you made this person feel really important you made them feel super loved and really special and they miss it they miss feeling important and special to you like i feel like you guys were just so generous with how much love you were giving or that you do give to people that this person you know, completely took it for granted. They didn't realize how rare it is to have someone who would be um, as supportive and loving as thoughtful as you guys have been. Uh, they completely just, you know, did not recognize, you know, how special or important or what a blessing you guys were to them uh, until they lost you, until they no longer had the same type of access to you. Some of you, I feel like this is actually like a third party situation and this is the third party. I feel like you guys like separated yourself from all this mess, all this drama. You put your time and your energy and focus back into yourself and you just started kind of rebuilding your life. You Things are a lot better, I feel like, since you walked away from this whole mess that you were involved in. And I feel like, you know, this person feels bad about what they did or they're feeling shitty because they're seeing you doing better and they're experiencing a lot of blocks or a lot of emotional turmoil. And they know that they brought this on themselves for interfering in your connection. I feel like they see you guys doing well, you may be flourishing, you may have a new relationship or new connections that are better. And this person is feeling stuck and stagnant and it's really causing them a lot of mental turmoil. You know, seeing the differences and the dynamics happening in uh, their life versus your life. I feel like they could be comparing themselves to you. Um, some of these people that were in the third party, they put a lot of time and energy into trying to destroy you like they made an enemy out of you and i feel like this is kind of karma coming back around everything's kind of coming full circle and you guys are in a much better position than they are now and it's really upsetting them you know it's really causing them to be obsessive over you and to think about you constantly and think about you know, what went down in the past with you guys. I feel like these people are feeling really lost. You know, a lot of these people are feeling lost. And seeing you guys having stability, uh, doing well in your life is making them do some reflection and some soul searching because I feel like they invested a lot of negative energy towards you and it's left them in this space of feeling kind of like, unsatisfied and emotionally empty and feeling really lost when it comes to their life and their purpose. Um, I'm also seeing another scenario here where you guys could have worked or collaborated on something with this person. And I feel like you guys ended up having to walk away from this because 
you know, it became very stressful dealing with this person. They might not have been, you know, showing reciprocity or pulling their weight or they could have caused a they could have caused you to take a pretty big financial hit because of their irresponsibility. Like I'm seeing a lot of things here where things went sour or became chaotic or stressful. Uh, you guys or you had to walk away from this project. And I see that you walked away and then you met people who were better equipped to handle the responsibilities of this project. You found a better team to work with. And I feel like this person, you know, when you guys fell out, I feel like they probably were in their pride and their ego. They didn't really want to take responsibility for how they were negatively impacting this project and I feel like now that you separated yourself from them and you're making shit happen and things are progressing for you and things are less stressful for you it's like shining a light on them like oh shit maybe I was a problem like I feel like these people are experiencing a lot of stagnant energy in their projects and their goals in their career and they're seeing you kind of making progress and it's you know you can't can't avoid the truth right there, you know? I feel like it's becoming very obvious that any setbacks or instability or trouble you're experiencing, um, it was because of this person's incompetence, you know? Um, or whatever other reason. There's several other reasons coming through. It could have been financial stuff, but... Um, yeah, I feel like this person is really thinking about how they contributed to the situation, the dynamic here between you guys. I feel like there's a there's some regret here with this group for sure, with you know, their actions that led you to turn your back on this. Um and I feel like they're thinking about that. They think about that a lot, you know. So now let's take a look at the signs that are coming through for this group. Dominant energy for sun, moon, and rising. Okay. For this group is Aquarius, Leo, Jupiter, which is Sagittarius or Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. Okay, guys, in group four. I hope this reading was accurate. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more readings like this in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group five. Hey, group five. If you chose this image, this is your reading for who's currently thinking about you or who can't stop thinking about you. Okay. So let's see what's coming through for you guys. I pulled the full ace of wands, queen of swords, 10 of cups and eight of wands. So for this group, I'm feeling like this is a new connection. It can be a new platonic connection or a new romantic connection. Um, the majority of you here, I'm pretty sure it's romantic. It's a new dating situation. Um, but whether this is romantic or not, I feel like this person, uh, they really find you guys very interesting. They find you super fascinating. Um... They think your mind is really intriguing. And for those who are looking for a connection that's more long term, they're really feeling like you could be the one. Um, they're really excited about this, you know, your energy, your entrance into their life. Like, I feel like they're just trying to keep like a cool head about it. They're really trying to like control their excitement. Um, I feel like they're kind of obsessing over you, but in a sweet way, not like in a creepy way. Um, some of you, this is a new friend and I feel like they're just really excited about you. They find you very interesting. I feel like they feel as though you guys are like soul family uh, or you're a part of their soul tribe. And they're just really excited about like the future of this connection and the things that you guys will do together. Um, for some of you, this is someone who is more emotionally detached and I feel like they're, 
they're not necessarily someone who thinks or is looking for connections for something long term. I feel like they're more focused right now when it comes to you and this connection is more on the physical aspects of it. Um, I feel like they're they're not really invested emotionally all the way. Um, some of you, this is someone who's a little guarded because of their past experiences, which is why they may be a little hard to read or could be coming off a little cold. Um, I'm getting air sign energy. I'm getting a lot of air and fire right now. So um, we'll see what comes through when we pull the signs. But I feel like this person's natural disposition is kind of to be uh, a little detached. Um, even if this is something that evolves into something long term, they always enter their new connections, new relationships, very lighthearted, not so invested emotionally. Um, but I feel like there's definitely, you know, a very intense physical attraction here um, from all the situations that are romantic. So I feel like, you know, with this group, their thoughts of you, you know, some of you may have already entered that part of your relationship where you've already become physical with each other. So I feel like they're thinking about that a lot. They're thinking about you guys, um, your, phys your physical chemistry. Uh, some of you, they're really excited to uh, possibly experience that with you and they could be thinking about that. Uh, others, you know, they're just excited about, you know, your presence and you being in their life. They feel like they're getting very positive vibes and very um, optimistic, you know, feelings from this situation. A lot of these people, like I said, have been hurt in the past, but, but something here, something with this connection, when they talk to you, it makes them want to take a risk. It makes them want to open up again. It makes them want to be, uh, it makes them want to at least try to be a little bit more vulnerable, okay? Apply it how it resonates because there are people here who are not really emotionally invested as much yet, okay? Um, so that's what I'm getting for this group. Let's see the signs coming through for you guys in this. So for this group, I pulled Mars, which is Leo, Aries, or Scorpio, uh, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Pisces. Okay, guys, in group five, I hope that this reading resonates with you. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more readings like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group six, okay? Bye. Hey, group six, if you chose this image, this is your reading for who is currently thinking about you or can't stop thinking about you, okay? So let's get into this. For you guys, I pulled Justice, Four of Swords, Three of Swords, Page of Swords, Reverse, and Knight of Wands, Reverse. So it's a lot of swords going on here. <laughs> For this group, I feel like you guys are in a pretty established connection here. I don't feel like there may be space between you guys or recently you guys may not have been able to spend uh, a lot of quality time together as much as you would like. Um, but I feel like there is an established connection here. If you guys are at odds with each other or you recently had a fight, this space is so that you guys can kind of heal and cool down on your own before you kind of come back and regroup and handle things. Um, others of you, I feel like you have other obligations that are kind of creating the space and the distance here. Um, or you could have some individual healing that is happening that's creating some space between the two of you currently. But I do feel like, you know, if you guys are fine, if you're on good terms, it's just the circumstances that are kind of making it so that you can't focus on giving this connection the attention you would like to, whether it be like physical attention or just being able to talk to each other. I feel like um, your person's really... It's, it's bothering them, you know, it's, it's on their mind. They're thinking about how they haven't had time with you alone to really kind of, you know, you guys focus on each other in this and your relationship. 
And I feel like that's bothering them. It's making them a little anxious. Um, I feel like some of you, it might have been a while since you've been physical with this person too. So they're horny is what I'm saying. Like they want to be physical with you. If this is a connection where you guys, um, you know, you guys are at a distance, you guys are healing separately. For some of you, this person's upset still. They're angry about something you said to them. Um, you know, with this justice card, it's like something here is binding you guys. So even if you want to separate from this person and cut them out of your life for some of you you can't because it could be someone you work with or it could be someone you have a contract with or it could be someone that you know is in your neighborhood there's something about proximity here where you can't necessarily separate yourself or um or you could be like i said in a committed relationship with them and even though you're going through something there's no uh intention here of separating permanently um, but yeah, I feel like the person is upset. They're angry. That's what they're thinking about. Something you said to them, pissed off about it. Uh, they're kind of obsessing over it and, you know, they're having a hard time, uh, ignoring it or cooling down. Uh, some of you here, I don't feel like this is a, uh, dominant energy, but some of you here, there was recent infidelity, um, in this connection. And, you know, this person is, either one um they're in a lot of pain and obsessing over how angry you are at them or how much pain they caused you i also see that they could be like freaking out about whether or not you're going to leave them if this is only temporary or permanent you know the space between you guys um if you were the one who uh was involved in the third party and it got found out then you know this person's kind of thinking like how could you do that they're hurt uh they're angry with you they're thinking about their anger towards you they're thinking about wanting to leave this connection if they can you know what their options are i feel like they're just trying to kind of cool down um if that's not your situation um if you got into an altercation with this person uh and you guys aren't in a romantic connection I feel like this person is either thinking about something you said to them, they're kind of harping on it, they're pissed off about it, or they're hurt by it, or they're hurt over the fact that there is no communication happening right now. Um, and they're a little worried about it. I feel like some of these people, you know, whatever happened between the two of you, they feel like kind of embarrassed or silly or stupid, or, you know, they're just having a hard time admitting that they're wrong. Uh, there's a, Yeah, there's like embarrassment here. Uh, over maybe the way they reacted to you when you tried to have a difficult conversation with them about something. Uh, they could feel embarrassed about their reaction to you or uh, now that the dust has kind of settled, they're realizing that what you were saying was right and they overreacted or reacted immaturely or, you know, they know they're in the wrong. And the reality of them being wrong is kind of, you know hurting their pride and their ego um others of you here i feel like you guys express to this person that something about their own behavior has been hurtful to you and i feel like they're just kind of just taking it in and they are upset that they hurt you they're disappointed with themselves they're angry with themselves uh for you know causing you any pain uh they want to heal this uh with you but they want to give you some space and distance right now so you have time to you know process your feelings and they have time to process their feelings so uh that's currently what they're thinking about so only take it how it resonates i'm now going to pull a few cards so we can see the signs coming through so for this group i pulled venus which is taurus or libra the sun which is leo cancer Pisces and Capricorn. Okay, guys, so I hope that this reading resonates with you. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more readings like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll catch you in my next one, okay? Bye!